Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. This is my second channel where I like to get a little bit goofier, a little bit wackier, a little bit unscripted, and to be honest, a little bit silly. Also on this channel, I like to drink LaCroix. Today I've got a nice, refreshing lemon. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'll just open it the normal way. Mmm, hell yeah, dude. Oh shit. I got LaCroix all over my laptop. Hell yeah. So this is a continuation of the episode series. I have I started this series five months ago, I believe, and have only filmed two videos so far. But I'm back at it. I'm gonna be finishing up the episode story, A YouTuber's Reality, today. Just a quick reminder, if you don't remember what's going on in the story, our name is Mia. We're sort of a high schooler, but sort of an old lady. We're trying to become a successful YouTuber. There's also this love interest, Skylar. We've posted a couple videos that have gotten like a decent amount of views so far, but we haven't really made it big yet, I don't think. Right now, there's only two chapters left of this episode story, so I think that we can get through it in this video and finish the whole thing off. Also, I would like to address, there's actually been some drama surrounding this series. I know, I know what you're thinking. It's just a video about episode, how could there be drama? But in the last episode, the creator of this episode said that if I said that if you follow her on Instagram and DM her, you can get into her story and she would put you in. But this story I think was made like many, many years ago. And since then her account has been deleted, but a ton of people made fake Instagram profiles just to get followers. And a ton of them have been like DMing me like, hey, Danny, it's me, Chloe. I'm the person who made the Instagram story. And uh, you know what? None of them are her. Okay, and you know how I know? It's because I'm not in the story still. She has not added anything to the story. Not only has she not added me, she hasn't added anything. She's added nothing to the story because the story was made years ago and the real Chloe just vanished. She's disappeared. No one knows where she is. All right, well, without further ado, let's get into it. Episode seven out of eight. We're getting to the end of this story, guys. Hopefully we end up extremely famous on YouTube. Otherwise, this is gonna be wildly underwhelming. Skylar, if I knew we were coming to the beach, I would have brought my swimmers. I just wanted to watch the sunset with you. <laughs> it's beautiful just like you. Aw, oh, thanks, you're beautiful too. Oh gosh, why did I say that? What I meant to say was, I think you're pretty great. Well, thanks Mia. Skylar, can I ask you something? Go for it. Why me? You're literally the most popular guy in our year. Why did you go for me? I'm just average. Also, I'm, I look really old. Then again, so does he, so and maybe they're a good match. Trust me, Mia, you're not average. You're so beautiful. You're not like Leah and those girls. Skylar puts his hand around my waist and pulls me in. He looks at me with his piercing eyes. His eyes pierce me. His eyes shoot out of his sockets and through the back of my skull. Sick. He leans in and kisses me on the lips. Hungry? <laughs> that seems like a weird thing to ask right after you kiss someone. <sighs> Yo, I'm fucking starving. You want something to eat? Uh, yeah. Well, let's head to our next location, shall we? Did that really just happen? Wow. This is getting pretty romantic, guys. Skylar gave us a big kiss. Now we're at some rooftop restaurant, it looks like. Oh, wow, this is amazing, Skylar. It is pretty great here. Does he come here often? He did seem to know his way around pretty well, the way he walked into frame and stood by the railing. Maybe he comes here often. He knew there was a railing here? Skylar, I need to talk to you about something. Shoot. You know Leah? Yes. What about Leah? She has some sort of dirt she's going to use against me. What type of dirt? I can't tell you, but she's going to tell the whole school if I continue to hang around you. I think I know what the dirt is. What? Your YouTube channel. I think it's great. Oh, shit. Skylar's a fan of my YouTube channel? So he's been watching my videos all along. Maybe he's been like all of my thousand views. It's just Skylar watching my videos over and over. Oh, she's so fucking beautiful. Ah, I wanna kiss her and then eat. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Why? You're good at talking to the camera. You're not awkward or anything. In my eyes, it's actually a pretty good talent. I would never have the guts. You don't understand how happy I am right now. I feel like this massive weight has just been lifted from me. Oh, Mia. You fucking idiot. Skylar lifts me up playfully and gives me a kiss on the cheek. Aw, oh, damn. I wish I could have seen that happen. Why did it just cut to a table when that happened? I want to see Skylar kiss her. How come it never shows Skylar kissing Mia? I want to see that shit. Oh, and now it cuts back. I thought they were going to walk over to the table and sit down, and that's why it was like cutting over there. But no, it's just like, and suddenly Mia gets kissed, but you can't see it. That'd be like if I was like, uh, and now I'm just going to balance 10 bowling balls on my head real quick and I'm also jumping up and down on one leg and twerking and now I'm done damn that was crazy 
time. But Skylar, what about when the rest of the school finds out about my channel? Honestly, Mia, at some point, you're gonna have to stop being so insecure about being a YouTuber. Either you wanna be one or you don't. Like, if you think you're good at making YouTube videos, just make them and no one will care, you know? I don't care what anyone else thinks. You're gonna have to get over that eventually. Who really cares? It's got nothing to do with that. Thank you, Skylar. You know what? Skylar seems like a good guy. He seems like a real ride or die. He's got great advice for Mia. I think he's really good for her. I guess you're right. Buzz, buzz. Oh no, here come the murder hornets. Oh, it's just... It's her phone. My mom just messaged me. I better head off. I don't know why she's like holding her phone like this for her mom texting her. Oh, I just got a text from my mom. Let me read it with my ear. She holds it up to her head and a little eyeball comes out of her ear. Wow. She says I'm adopted. Text me? For sure, and you can read it with your eyeball. Let me drive you home. Skylar gives me a kiss on the lips and then drives off. Again, I really wish I could, you know, see some of this action that's happening instead of just looking at Mia's house. I bet they're kissing just right here. If they could just pan the camera over two inches, we could just get a look at that, get a look at those smooches. Hey, mom. Hey, sweetie, how was your date? It was amazing. That's great, hon. Yeah, I'm so tired. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Mia. Yes? I realized... I haven't really been here for you. Since your dad passed away, I haven't really been 100%. Whoa. Did we know that? Did that- was that something they talked about in a previous video? Her dad died? Did that like happen in between these episodes or something? I don't think- maybe I forget it because the last one of these videos I filmed was like four months ago, but I don't remember them ever talking about that before. It seems like kind of a weird thing to just spring on us in the second to last episode. I haven't been here for you. I feel like we've lost our bond. It's fine, mom. I understand. It's been tough on both of us. I just want you to know I'm here for you. If I ever lost you, there would be no point in even living. Mom, it's fine. Trust me. <laughs> She's like, whoa, okay. Getting like really sad there for some reason. It's fine. Do you don't, don't do that. You're making it awkward. No, seriously, Mia, if something ever happened to you, well, I don't know what I do. Yeah. Okay. I get it, Ma. Chill out. Dude, you're making everybody sad. You're not going to lose me. I love you dearly, Mia. I love you too, Mom. It's also great to know that I'm making people happy with the videos I make. I like that when she said that, she got kind of angry and put her finger up like this. It's also kind of nice making people happy. That's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> well, that's great, Mia. Thank you, Mom. It means a lot to me that I have your support in this. You had better get to bed, sweetie. You have school tomorrow. Ugh. Don't remind me. What will Leah do when she finds out about Skylar and Mia's date? Find out next time on a YouTuber's reality. I feel like maybe I picked the wrong episode story because one, this is like super old apparently, but also like nothing happens in e each episode. They just like went to a restaurant, kissed, went home, kissed, and Mia's mom was like, your dead dad uh, is dead. And uh, I haven't been there for you. I don't know. I just, I didn't really feel like much happened there. It didn't, didn't move the story along much. In fact, it presented new plot points, which I don't really know if we can get that much further into if there's only one episode left. Also, I just want to see him kiss. Is that too much to ask? Hey guys, welcome back to a YouTuber's reality. The episodes are going to start getting longer from now on. Oh no, dude, this is a disaster. This is the last episode of the series and the creator is saying, don't worry guys, trust me, the episodes are gonna start getting a lot longer from now on. I gotta be honest, fam, I don't think they are. Oh no, what happened to this poor girl? Every time she starts an episode, she's like, guys, this one's gonna be longer, I promise, okay? And then at the end of it, she's like, oh guys, I forgot, oh please forgive me, I forgot to make it longer. Ugh, I'm so tired, I better get ready. I hate this uniform. Okay, she's going off to school, I guess. I thought she was going to bed still. I was confused when she said, oh, I'm so tired, and then got into her school uniform. Now that I'm in a full suit, time to go to bed. Mia arrives at school. There's Grace, what should I do? Ooh, keep walking or say something. You know what, honestly, screw it. It's the last episode. We're gonna go crazy in this one. I'm just gonna say keep walking. Mia's basically famous on YouTube now. I'm gonna have her pull a full 180, not loyal anymore. <laughs> just walk right past her best friend. Mia! Guys! Mia! Mia! Uh, yes? I'm honestly so sorry. I don't know what got into me. Okay, the same thing would have happened if I just pressed talk to her. I just like started to walk past her and then we still had the conversation anyway. I think I was just jealous because you've got Skylar, fans, etc. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say etc. out loud before. That's a funny thing to do when you're speaking out loud. You usually only see it written somewhere. You've got Skylar, fans, dot 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 and so on. I'm sorry too, Grace. I should not have been so caught up in my own stuff. I didn't even ask how you were. It's fine. I'm just glad we're friends again. How did your date go? Well, Mia tells Grace everything that went on during the date. We kissed twice, but you can't see. She also tells her what Leah said to her. Are you serious? Leah threatened you? Jess, it's fine. Skylar knows. 
And that's all I care about. Wait, Jess? Is this girl's name Jess? I could have sworn her name was Grace just now. Like before when we just saw her. Hasn't it been Grace this entire time or am I crazy? Why is she Jess all of a sudden? That's so weird. <laughs> this whole series has just like gone off the rails. Every time there's like some new weird thing going on with the person making this, it just does not make any sense. She can't get away with this. Okay, yeah, her name is Grace. Who's Jess? Honestly, maybe Mia's going kind of Hollywood on her. She's like forgetting her own best friend's name. Yeah, whatever, uh, Jess or Frank, whatever your name is. She can't get away with this. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, really? Meet me in the girls' locker room, second period. Jess, what are you thinking? I don't remember if Mia has ever referred to Grace as Grace before. Maybe Mia doesn't know Grace's name? My freshman year at college, there was a kid that lived on the same dorm floor as me, and he called me Daniel every time he saw me, but I, like, didn't realize he was calling me Daniel until, like, I'd already known him for months. So at that point, I was like, shit, I can't correct him now. So I just let him call me Daniel forever. I mean, Daniel is my full name, but... Like everybody else called me Danny and he just called me Daniel because I was too awkward to correct him. Maybe that's what's going on here, but to a more extreme extent. You'll find out. Ring, ring, ring. Gotta run, meet me. This is not going to end well. What are they gonna do in the girl's locker room? They just like meet her in there alone and beat the shit out of her. Hey babe. Ooh, Skylar looking good in that uniform, dude. Oh, hey Skylar. Did he just call me babe? Uh, I think I'm gonna faint. What are you doing after school? You. Oh, Jesus. Wow, okay. This is getting a little bit forward. <laughs> what are you doing after school? I'm gonna- Uh, nothing. Come over. I'll see you at lunch. Skylar leans in and gives me a kiss on the cheek. This time they just went to a black screen. They couldn't even figure out something else to show during this part. Just blackness. The creator of this story is like, okay, now cover your eyes. And they're kissing now. And off he goes. I'm confused. Are we dating? All right, period two. Girls locker rooms. Let's see what's gonna happen. So why are we here? Grace holds up a bottle of hair remover. What are we gonna do with that? <laughs> oh my God. Whatever this is, I don't know if it's worth it, guys. This might be a crime. Grace, this is terrible. Let's do it. Oh no. It's done. Now hurry, let's go. I wonder what they did. Did they put it in the sh like the shampoo or something? And if so, how do they know that only Leah is gonna use the shampoo? A few moments later. You honestly did so terrible today. No. <laughs> Ugh, I need a shower. And off she goes. Past the toilets. Shower time. That's what I say every time I'm about to get in the shower. I walk into the bathroom. Shower time! Leah showers. What the hell? Why does my hair smell like nair? Would you believe that it's because there's nair in it? Also, how did you not notice that when you were putting it in your hair? <laughs> She's already out. She's dressed again in her same sweaty uniform that she was just in. Oh my God, who is trying to sabotage me? Okay, now she's changed again. Wait, she, but she's, she's still got her hair. I'm confused, did it do anything? I thought she was gonna come back in and be bald. Mia, uh-oh, this is not good. Okay, I, I do feel like it's a, a climax of sorts is coming on. So I'm glad that things are actually happening in this episode. This is probably the best one yet, unless it ends right now. Hey, hey babe, there it is again. She looks like mad about it. Why the fuck does he keep calling me that? What does that mean? I'm not a baby, dude. I'm not Babe Ruth, famous baseball player Babe Ruth. Why does he call me that? Mia, Leah says as she points past Mia. Did you do this? Do what? She still got hair. Leah holds up a bottle of hair remover. Um, no. Mia, did you? Whoa, Skylar. Okay, I take back what I said about this dude being loyal. Leah just accuses her with no evidence and Skylar's like, wait a minute. Babe, if that is even your real name. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, Skylar, not cool. You just lost a lot of respect from this guy. Yes. Wow, fair enough. <laughs> what Leah did to you was unfair, but seriously. Wait, I don't understand, is he mad or not? Wow, fair enough. What Leah did to you was unfair, but seriously. Leah is standing there with a smirk on her face. I, uh, I have to go. I'm sorry, Skylar, she is horrible. Oh, shut up, Leah. Oh, shit, what, what, I, I don't understand what Skylar is feeling about all this. Is he mad at us? Is he mad at Leah? Is he just like pissed at the world? I just hate everyone now, I, uh. Fuck you, Leah, and Mia, and fuck me too while I'm at it. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, it's Skylar. Oh, hi, Skylar. Look, I'm sorry I totally overreacted. It's fine, Skylar. It it was low of me to even think of something like that, even though it was Grace. Yeah, that's true. It wasn't even her idea. It was our idiot friend, Jess. It's fine. I saw your videos. You're really starting to get views. Yeah, I guess. Wow. Famous and humble? That's pretty cool. Still want to come over? Sure, I'll be over in 15. Cool, see you then. A short drive later, I pull up at a massive penthouse. Whoa, is Skylar like rich? 
Whoa, okay, maybe I take back what I said about him losing my respect before. Is he rich? Okay, she's got the same question as I do. Hey, I'm here, let me in? This is beautiful, Skylar. It's pretty neat, I guess. Oh, he's humble too. Actually, that sort of just comes off as more like spoiled. Like if you have a really nice house and you're like, yeah, I don't know. It's not really my taste. Then that's kind of just douchey. Skylar begins to kiss me. I wish I could believe you, sweetheart, but unfortunately, I don't know if I can. He pushes me onto the lounge and kisses my neck. Oh my God, what is happening? What? What's going on in this story? Is his parents home? They're in high school, right? Is this his apartment? Does this high schooler have his own luxury apartment? What is going on? I push him off. Okay. Uh, Skylar, your parents? I live on my own. What? <laughs> I live on my own? Is this dude like 30? I'm worried now. Is he, how old is this guy? Why does he have such a nice apartment? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. What are you, 16 and you live by yourself in a million dollar penthouse? Oh, do you want to continue? Well, so the options are hells yeah and let's put on a movie. I kind of feel like either one I pick, it's gonna end up with us making out again. So let's just say hells yeah. Skylar and Mia continue. Guys, I feel so awkward writing about this sort of stuff. I think you know what I'm getting at though. Oh, the poor writer of this story, dude. It's so funny. She they, she just keeps writing herself into corners and committing to something and then being like, oh guys, I can't. Every time she's like, these episodes are gonna be longer. Oops, I can't, I can't do the thing I said I was gonna do, even though no one asked me to say that. And now she like wrote her way into a romance scene and then was like, oh, but I hate romance. Skylar, I have to ask you something. Okay, they're in a different room now. They made out so hard they ended up in a totally different place. This doesn't even look like the same decor as this as the other room. Are they in a different house now? Go for it. Are we dating? Uh what will Skylar's response be? Find out next time on AYR. No! Also guys, please check out my other story, a camp affair. You know what? Honestly, Chloe, I don't think I will. You have finished reading all available episodes. Come on, dude. What? Wow. Okay. Well, there you have it guys, a YouTuber's reality. Is it accurate to my reality as a YouTuber? Honestly, yeah. I don't mean to brag, but this is pretty much exactly what I go through as a YouTuber. You know what, props to Chloe for making such a detailed, in-depth analysis of a YouTuber's reality. Thank you for the, the beautiful writing, the amazing story, the deep characters that you clearly put a lot of thought into and didn't keep forgetting their names. And yeah, all in all, I had a great time. Let me know if you guys want me to play another episode or something, or, or maybe a different game. I liked this because it was kind of a series. It was fun to check back in, even though there will only be three of these videos, but I was it was fun, I liked doing it. So if you want me to play a different game or another episode story, just let me know down in those comments down below. And guys, now it's time to talk about today's sponsor, Ridge Wallet. Guys, I've been carrying my Ridge Wallet for a while now, and I am, quite frankly, a fan. It's light, it's sleek, it's got a cool industrial look to it. It doesn't fold and it doesn't bulge awkwardly in your pocket. And it's also designed to fit in your front pocket, not your back pocket. These days, the vast majority of people are still using wallets that were like designed in the 90s with that either like trifold design or single fold. It's like a big beefy hunk of leather that you just stick like everything you own in. This is my Ridge wallet. I've got the forged carbon, I believe it's called. It's designed to hold up to 12 cards plus room for cash. As you can see, I've got my cash folded in the back here in this cash strap. These come in over 30 colors. This one is my favorite, but they've got like carbon fiber, titanium, a bunch of cool stuff. They're all very industrial looking. I think they're pretty tight. They're durable, plus they come with a lifetime warranty, which means you could buy one of these things and not have to buy a wallet for the rest of your life. And the Ridge team is actually so confident you'll love it that they'll actually let you test drive one for 45 days and let you send it back for a full refund if you don't completely love it. But don't just take my word for it and don't take their word for it. You can check out their over 30,000 five-star reviews and you can take their word for it. So find out how you can get 10% off today plus free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash Danny G. That's ridge.com slash Danny G and using my code Danny G. That's ridge.com slash Danny G and the link will be in the description. Thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video. This is legitimately my wallet that I carry around every day. It goes in my front pocket, not my back pocket. I've kind of heard that putting wallets in your back pocket is bad for your posture anyway. So I'm glad that I have a front pocket wallet. So thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out Ridge. They're a great product, great company, great people. I've never met any of them, but I'm sure they're great. All right, well, bye.